Hey ladies, Marquita here giving you your not so scheduled dosage of makeup goodness. And of course, you know, I got to be all dramatic with it and put it in slow motion for you. You know, you love it. Anyway, today I will be showing you a JLo inspired makeup look. This was actually from the Academy Awards which took place on Sunday, which was phenomenal, by the way. Please enjoy. So here we're prepping the brows, brushing the brow hairs upwards with the spoolie brush and then going in with an angled brush and MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the desired shade. And we're just carving out a guideline for the brows. And remember, you could do it any way you want, but this is how I like to do mine. Now I'm going in with my spiked brow pencil by MAC and I'm working in those short hair like strokes to really give it a natural look and filling in the sparse areas of my brows and focusing on the outer, outer section of my brows. I've been between this pencil and the Chocolate Dip Brow by Anastasia, Be Anastasia Beverly Hills. Jeez, I can't talk today. But when I want a more natural look, I tend to go for the spiked brow pencil. Now just brushing my hairs together again and blending the product. Going back in with that angled brush, just cleaning up what we did with whatever concealer is left on it. And then in a downwards motion, just blending that concealer out. Because I don't want that sticking around. And then taking my finger and blending the rest out. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and setting my brow hair so that they do not move. Now I'm going in my Morphe Brushes 35N palette and taking two light colors that I will be using for my brow bone. And this is to highlight the brow bone and also set that concealer. Now I'm taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and applying that to my eyelids. I'm going in with this light um, peachy shade and this will be my transition. Working it in on a fluffy blending brush, just moving in those little circles and really just getting it all over. Now I'm taking um, a red base and I'm just applying that to my eyelid. This is a red cream base, just so that the eyeshadow will stick. Now I'm going in my Lime Prime Venus palette Taking the color Rebirth, which is that pretty pink toned coral shade, coral toned pink shade, whatever, and deepening that transition shade. Next, I'm taking the color Creation and deepening the transition shade again, this time working closer to the eyelid. Now I'm going in with Muse on a semi pointed blending brush and deepening my crease. So we're applying that color to the crease. And blend it out as you go. Next, going back in with Creation on the fluffy blending brush and just blending any harsh lines out. Now I'm going in with Shell, which is this beautiful color right here. I can't even describe it, but I'm applying it with my finger because I feel like when I do it with the brush, the color doesn't come off as rich. So just patting it on my eyelid and then smoothing it out with a small tapered blending brush. And then I'm going back over it with um, an eyeshadow brush. Now I'm taking my um, 
Sigma E25, I believe, blending brush, and just blending out that crease color. Now I'm going in with a deep maroon shade on a pointed blending brush, and I'm deepening the crease color again. So we're just working in stages here. We're going back and forth, back and forth. And taking creation, that brownish color, and blending it out yet again. I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and Max Rose Gold Pigment. Or it might be Rose. I think it's called Rose. And just patting that on my eyelid. Now I'm taking a cream base again and applying it to my lower lash line or my bottom lid or lower lash line taking a flat definer brush I'm going with Muse and just tracing out my lower lash line next I'm taking rebirth on a pencil brush and blending that out And now taking a small taper blending brush, we're going in with a peach shade. That's by Makeup Forever, but it's been abused so much I don't even remember the name. And just blending out a little more. Now I'm taking a nude eyeliner pencil. And this is by Maybelline, I believe. Or Rimmel, I think it's Rimmel. I'll post the um, product details in the bottom. Now I'm taking that flat definer brush and just going back in. Now I'm taking that small taper blending brush and applying the rose pigment to my tear duct. In the inner corner of my eye. Just to really, really accentuate the eyes. And then you can apply just a little bit more to the lid as well. Now I'm just applying some eyeliner, not eyeliner, oh my god, some mascara to my non-existent bottom lashes. And then I applied some wispy lashes, or I think they're four, they're, they're red cherry lashes. Now I'm just going in with my Coastal Scent Smoky Palette and applying a brow highlight. And I'm going in with Max Dolly Mix Blush and applying that ever so gently to my cheeks, just to give a little hint of color. Now I'm taking MAC Cheeky Bronze Mineral Skin Finish and applying that on my dual fiber brush to give myself a nice highlight. And then taking a smaller brush, I'm just applying it to other high points of my face, the nose, Cupid's bow, you know the deal and then just contouring my nose just a tiny bit. Now I'm taking Night Moth by MAC and I will be lining my lips, obviously, as you can see. I'm using MAC Chestnut Liner just to overlap what I did with Night Moth to give it a more brownish tone. And now I'm just applying um, a white eyeshadow base by NYX to my lips. And then I'm applying Pink Pop by Maybelline. It's a part of their uh, Vivids collection. Just applying that to my lips. And then just going over that with a little pink gloss. This isn't as glossy as Jayla was wearing it, but it's a more subdued look. So there you have it, ladies. A Jayla Oscar inspired makeup look. And now I'm posing and posing. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.